three, two, one. Come on now. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Yellow. Welcome back to my channel. Hello guys, I have not been on camera and I haven't been giving you guys content since my vacation, since I am 50 shades of tan and a busted shipwreck. As you can tell from my eyebrows, to my lashes, to the tan lines, I have not had harush time in a moment, so I'm actually going to do my eyebrows on camera. I know you guys have been asking Mama Harouj to show you guys a brow tutorial, but since she has ketchup fleurs on her face, she has not been able to do it because Kelly Baker Brows usually maintains them. But today, I'm gonna put on a life vest and jump into the ocean and try to trim the seaweed on my face. Also, I would like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. This is the second video that I'm doing with them. I get so excited to shoot because it is so authentic to me because I have had the app downloaded for years and years and years since it first came out and I religiously use it. Honestly, it is top five most used apps on my phone. You'll always see Audible when I'm getting ready, when I'm going to sleep. Visit audible.com slash Harush or text Harush to 500-500. Last time I suggested for you guys to read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. A lot of you guys loved it and this time what I've been on is a book called Unf*** Yourself. Yes, and that is exactly what it teaches you to do to get all these like mental handicaps out of your head that society and the world has put there that you can't move forward, that you can't conquer the world, that you can't be that that you can't own five different businesses and run it by yourself. It literally takes you back into a place in your mind where you just don't give a f anymore. You don't give a f what anyone has to say. And that is my whole vibe. If I could have written a manuscript for you guys of how to have that personality, this book would be it. So go ahead and check out Unf*** Yourself. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers to celebrity memoirs, news, business, and self-development. Also, they have podcasts on that. Let's get down to business, baby. We are going to tame these mother babies, bush monkeys. They used to come down to here. Now they're here. They're about to be here. We got to let Aliyah go because we know how she likes to hang on my hand. You never want to be on this channel anyways. I asked you guys to sign a petition for me. But apparently, y'all are too busy doing whatever the f you guys do. I guess I'm out. So the first thing that you're going to need to tame the little bushes on your face is going to be a close-up mirror. This is Riki, and then it has like a little vanity setup. Origin sent it to me from a PR package. I am going to brush up. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of hair on my brows. So the first thing that I like to do before getting into plucking my eyebrows is going to be drawing them in. I'm going to grab the Kylie Cosmetics Medium Brown and a Naomi's number four T brush. And I'm just going to fill that in with the darker powder. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to avoid over plucking. One mistake I always make when I do my own eyebrows, I always over pluck. So the way you ensure yourself by doing this is just filling it in and then you don't touch the areas that you filled in. I like to do like small strokes and I know some people like the Oreo effect. I like like bushy looking brows and let's say if you didn't have brows, this is what I would do. So I'm going to grab the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit number four. And if you don't have hair, first fill it in with powder. And then what you're going to do very lightly is going to create hair-like imprints on your brows. When people start from the top to the bottom, that doesn't make sense, you guys. Your hair grows from the bottom to the top. You're going to just replicate natural hair growth from top to bottom. Like I would be heavier handed on the bottom and then you just feather it out. 
And then I really like when my eyebrows come out more. That's why I tape them. That's the only reason I tape my eyebrows. It's because I like the flick of the wrist. And it is going to look really crazy until I finish plucking them. So please don't comment down below. It's so much. It's so heavy. <laughs> I know. If you have coarse hair like how I do, brush your brows down before drawing them in or else like it's gonna skip to like it doesn't allow you to get to your skin and remember everyone's eyebrows are so different like everyone always says you have perfect eyebrows but my eyebrows are literally so different from one another so apparently people this is a real statistic and i'm scared to have children and bring children into this world because apparently 27 percent of the population has basically decided they are going to stop educating themselves and stop reading books. In my opinion, they're a little too busy reading one another online, on the internet. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone's a critic with no credentials, but if you sign up for Audibles, and I'm basically giving you something for free. If you go to their website, audible.com, it is for free during COVID. They have everything up. If you go to stories.audible.com, they are so generous during the time of COVID. Just during this like madness, they have everything up for free for children, students, teachers, whoever you are, whatever your profession is, to educate yourself. I really think it's very, very important as long as you're alive to keep reading books, whether it be listening to them or reading them and consistently keep educating yourself because it's like training your brain. I know it's just really important to, since I was a child, like I remember like growing up, my dad would always be like, read a book every five seconds. Like anytime he saw me like sitting without doing anything, it's like read a book. So I think that like, it's been like drilled into my head. So read a book listen to a book, whatever your steez is. So what I'm going to do is now going in with the Dame Damone Roberts, the tweezer. I really like this tweezer because again, my hair is very coarse and this really does the job. My hair is so thick, like, like I wish you guys can see this close up, but it's a lot of hair. Do you guys wax your eyebrows, thread, or tweeze? Comment down below, I'd really like to know. See how it's like, lifting up now so if you guys want your eyebrows to go up pluck from underneath if you want your brows to come down pluck from above i'm gonna leave this one eyebrow alone now and i'm gonna tweeze the other one i like to go in steps versus like finishing this eyebrow then moving on to the other one i like to do one step one step and then keep moving on i like to always flip the tweezer for the sharpest part to be towards my skin for some reason when I'm doing the arch and then I'll flip it around the other way. When plucking your eyebrows, make sure to get like the bulb of the hair with you instead of cutting it halfway because you're leaving an ingrown and then it can like be a pimple. If you're a makeup artist, you need to learn how to do eyebrows because sometimes clients show up without having their eyebrows done and I think it's like a very essential thing for any professional makeup artist to know how to do eyebrows. I'm very careful with how far the eyebrows are from each other. I actually like where the tear duct is. This is how I establish where I want my eyebrows to begin. Tear duct diagonal. So it grew out a little bit too much. So I'm going to remove a little bit. Now we are going to haircut. So what I like to do is cut what's exceeding where I filled in. Always make sure to like avoid the edges. You don't want to take too much off. So now say hello to my little friend. This is from Revlon. It is a drugstore and I'll link it down below. It's a razor. So you have to be super steady and super still. And if you have a mustache on your face, you can use this to get rid of it too. So I like to start from right here and I just pull down and it like literally perfects. Now you can do it this way too, but honestly I've tried it a couple times and I've cut myself. So be careful if you're gonna do it like that way. I like it for the top. And honestly, this is a great way if you draw on your eyebrows to clean it up as well. Now, I'm going to go in 
with custard from NARS, just a little dot. And I'm going to go in with a classic for London Brush Company brush and just going to highlight. So anytime you brighten underneath your brow, it lifts it up. This one is naturally my higher side. So I like to make sure this side knows it's that big. Just like you should know you're that big. If you listen to Unfuck Yourself, it will really teach you how to unfuck your brain. On audiobooks, use code Harush or text Harush to 500 500. If you want to lower your eyebrows, you can use the custard. I'm going to say that one more time. If you want to lower your eyebrow, pick one. You can't have up and then down at the same time. So when people do concealer up here and do concealer over here. What you are doing is very confusing to me and it makes me go like this every time I see that. It's very questionable, just like how it's very questionable that 27% of the world does not read books anymore. Use a color like your skin color or one shade lighter. So I'm going to use RCMA Shinto 3. Always put it on the back of the hand. Literally, I never ever put anything just like directly on my face because you don't really need that much product. On God, you don't. And I also like to bring it in a little bit into the hair. When you take pictures and you don't have foundation in your hairline, if you don't have it filled in, it really stands out. I'm going to use this Heavenly Smudger from It Cosmetics and I'm going to dip into the RCMA and I am going to start building on my eyelid because I'm going to show you guys how to do an eyeshadow look. So the last audiobooks I did, I showed you guys how to perfectly contour. Today I'm going to show you how to do the perfect eye look for summer dolling. So I'm going to pack that in. As you guys can see, I'm not swiping. Now I'm gonna grab a Sigma 3D HD Precision brush, and I am just going to smudge all of that. So I'm actually gonna bring this like out into my tear duct, and I'm gonna go into the brows, blend the two colors together now. Drag out the foundation. Now I am not known, I will do it on a client, but on myself, I like to wear just like a liner. That's like my look for many, many years. But today, since I'm tanned and still in vacation mode, I wanted to wear like a cute little moment and you know. So I'm going to finish with this. Then what I'm going to do is grab a booty blender and going to remove the excess. This is not a beauty blender, it's Chrissy Wynn. I'm going to grab a little Laura Mercier and I'm only going to pack that into the crease. I'm going to do a pink look to match the backdrop. I'm going to use 35C Everyday Chic from Morphe. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm a real YouTuber now. Not only do I get brand deals, I have discount codes. So make sure you use code Harush when purchasing this. Um, I have been a fan of Morphe shadows and products for a very long time. And I think they're super affordable and very high quality for the price. If you are on a budget, Morphe is the product for you. Even if you're not on a budget, like I'm not on a budget, I still use Morphe products. Going to wipe the back of my hand. Can you actually believe this is my real color? Like my entire life, I think I've aspired to be this color. <laughs> so I'm wearing baby blue and I wanted to play with the color pink on here, which is these shades over here. I'm going to grab an Anastasia A25 brush. So I'm going to grab this crease tone. And I like having two mirrors. I like one really close, close up and far away, just so you, I know what you're seeing and what I'm seeing. Cause I always see everyone's face in a magnifying mirror. That's how my eyes are. Okay, so I'm gonna pack first and then blend that out. I always like to pull it in, like how I'm going to contour down my nose. And this is a very beautiful, soft, like a taupey brown, if that makes sense. And this color is going to be the color I keep going back into to erase all my mistakes. And I'm gonna pull it out. 
so it gives the effect of a really elongated eye. Grabbing a clean Anastasia A25 brush again, I'm going to go in with this tone now. So I'm going to pack in the center and just go back and forth. And I'm going to keep that color just in the center. Now I know a lot of you guys like doing like cut creases and putting concealer to like just make your shadow stand out. But honestly, in person, I really, really like when colors congruently like fade into each other. It looks more natural, especially for summer, like when the sun is beaming in your mother eye and it's telling all your mother secrets like your younger annoying little sister and then now with the excess i'm going to pull that out where the taupe went and then when we pull it out i'm going to pull it back into my lash line now i'm going to grab a samey 2.3 brush and i'm going to go into this beautiful pinky color i'm not going on the outside just the center, not the inner corner either. Now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M456 brush into this purple mauve color. I am only very lightly going to elongate like a boomerang. If you need to use like a map, how we mapped out the eyebrows, from the edge of your eye to the tip of the brow, you're going to pull very lightly are you going to pull that into your crease? Pulling it out and very lightly pulling it in. The reason why I like to pull everything in a little bit, it gives a dimensional look to the eye that all colors are cohesive. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe pencil brush again, but it's like smaller, I'll click it down below. I'm going to pick up on the RCMA back of the hand and I'm going to draw it underneath the eye. Why is Kharoush doing this? Kharoush needs a base for eyeshadow. Now we did that. I'm gonna go in with the brighter color, put the brighter color going into it like now we are going to get this color over here with another clean pencil brush. Now going back to the pencil brush I applied the foundation with, I'm going to grab the purple mauve and we are just going to make sure that wing has something to hold on to. Sometimes you don't always have to like have a liner look. Guess who's saying that? I'm saying that. If I'm saying that, you can live without a liner for a day. Like this is just like a softer way of like achieving that. And you can apply this technique to any three colors in the palette, by the way. The way the palette is arranged, it's like very easy to pick a color. Like you can do that with the greens, you can do that with the blue, you can do that with the pink, you can do that with the gold, you can do that with the mint, whatever color your vibe is that day. Today is pink because baby blue and pink. I'm going to use a spoolie to clean the fallout from the lashes. Picking up on Duo Glue on the back of my hand, Ardell Wispies. I'm going to actually trim these like I did to my brows. I ordered these bundles from Amazon. I'm going to place them back into place and I'm going to grab these spiky lashes, Freedom 8s from Elevation Lashes. I'm gonna link it down below. And what I'm going to do is just place one in the center, one in the corner, but like sideways. If you guys wanna learn how to like really do this, I have a video in detail talking about how I create these lashes. But this is just like a different style that I'm creating. Now we're gonna let these dry and move on to the face. In my last Audible video, I told you, I showed you guys how to perfectly contour, but today I'm gonna do just like a light skin. If you guys wanna go heavier with your skin, click the video over here. Since I'm doing a summery eye, I want to do a summery skin look. So I just want it to be like light, water-based, not too much going on. I'm going to use a color corrector because I do have freckles and I do have dark spots. I'm going to use this Morphe, it's a synthetic brush. I'm gonna pick up this Makeup Forever palette number four. It's their Camouflage Cream palette. I love the orange. So I'm going to just go in where I see 
dark moments going on, which is around your nose, underneath my eye right here. Shadows are here. So anywhere you have a shadow that you wanna brighten, just pop this baby on. Now we are going to use the MAC NW60 Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick as contour. So very lightly, I'm going to cut. You see that line? We're gonna enhance. I gag for a small forehead at all times. So remember how I told you don't do lines? Uh, I don't have on foundation right now, so we're gonna do lines. I'm gonna grab the same brush, the Morphe brush for the nose, and I will bring that contour up into my eyebrow, both ways, all the way pulling it to the top, and then to the sides of my nose, underneath the lip. This is a great way to correct if one side of your lip is bigger than the other one. I'm like doing it right there. And then I'll pull it down. Cut my lip in the center for that Angelina Jolie pout. Now I'm going to grab Honey from NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to grab the Sephora 71 Pro Concealer Brush. I'm going to grab it from the back of my hand. I'm going to drag it on the side of my nose. Careful with that shadow. Careful with the shadow over here too. And flicking that up. And now I'm going to play with it with the brush to make sure we thin out the product but also get that opacity you're looking for. This is an amazing brush for concealer, by the way. I almost wanna look like a brat stall today. As you guys see, I'm doing the contour and highlight first, just to make sure we use as little as foundation as humanly possible. I need to pick up on a little bit more just to go down the center of my nose. I'm going to do that with a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. The reason why I'm doing it with a real hairbrush is it's kind of blending it at the same time. And now with this, I'm actually going to go with the residue and blend it into the eyeshadow. Notice no beauty blender used yet. This is all brushes. So now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 2. It's a synthetic brush. I like to start from here so I can pick up the residue. On this side, I like to blend it up so I can cut my cheek more in photos my jaw looks very snatched when the flash goes off when you do this. Don't blend too much because we still have foundation that goes on top of this. Now the cheek, I smile. Now we go into the forehead in a circular motion. Make sure it's blended into the hairline. So now with the nose, I'm just very lightly going to pull that down. Not the inner line, but the outer. Now with the concealer brush, I'm gonna go in and really make sure I can't breathe. Go and remove. When you have makeup on, this is the greatest way to clean you know, your nostrils. The foundation I have been using consistently, nonstop, is the Kevin Aquan Tinted Sheer to light coverage for a natural finish that feels like you're wearing next to nothing. Literally, that's what it feels like. It's the Strip Nude Skin Tint. It's not even a foundation. I like to mix deep ST08 and medium ST07 together because I'm a little confused with my skin color right now. As you can tell, I'm really dark. A pump and a pump. I'm going to go in with the Morphe number two and I'm going to blend. I'm going to just tap that. As you can visually notice what this foundation did was just literally kind of unite the contour and the highlight without doing the most. Now it's the same color as my chest, but I will go in with the lighter tone, which is medium seven, just a little bit, and go in underneath my jaw with it. And the way I'm gonna cover this up is literally just going to tap the brush over it. Now going in with the residue, literally it's just to implement that like gets a little bit brighter. I'm going to use a liquid blush. I am going to use Orgasm by NARS. Pump on the back of the wrist. I'm going to use a Samey 1.3 brush. 
and this color is very complementary towards the eyeshadow. So the book Unf*** Yourself. Why I like it so much, as a human being, you always have doubt in your head. Now this book really helped me to remove that like annoying inkling of like that one voice in the back of your head 24 7 when you're trying to achieve something to th that tells you that like i can't so it literally like breaks down where that is coming from like where is it in your head that like vocalizes that you can't if you're somebody that's like starting a business or you're moving careers or you're trying to accomplish something this is a really great book to read beforehand. It really like uplifts you and it definitely like tells you to stop listening to that voice, shows you how entrepreneurs think, definitely helps you move forward with anything that is challenging you in your life. We are going to set our face with Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna go in with that Chrissy Wynn and it's like very velvety unpack in anywhere I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it where we highlighted. Also, since we have a tinted moisturizer on, not a foundation, I'm going to set it right there. Even though I got them into my hair, it's okay. And I'm gonna lightly, with the residue, just go over my whole face. The reason why I'm doing this is sometimes with tinted moisturizer, when you scratch your face, it moves, so this makes sure it does not go anywhere. Now, with the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush, don't forget code Harouche for any of your Morphe purchases. So I'm going to take this and I am going to just make sure we set down the bridge of my nose because I always scratch my nose with this foundation. With other foundation, I wouldn't do this. I'm only doing this with the tinted moisturizer because it keeps sliding. And I remember 4th of July, this is what I had on. This is the skin routine that I did. Everyone has been requesting. So I scratched my nose and like it moved. And so I'm just gonna make sure to set it. You learn from your mistakes. They're never failures, they're lessons. And self teaches you that gonna set a little bit on the inner corners of my brows to tone that down a little bit and then we're gonna go in my forehead a little bit more we are going to grab a samey 2.1 brush pick up on some more Laura Mercier make sure you see that resting face from six feet away even though I'm wearing a mask we have that set up we're gonna let that set for like two seconds um, what I'm going to grab is the Laura Mercier the medium dark setting powder and i am going to grab a bobby brown sheer powder brush so this is a setting powder you can use it for darker skin but it also has a little bit of shimmer in it i'm going to take it and use it as bronzer on my forehead i love the color of this that it gives and then with the residue i'm going to connect now with a Morphe blending brush, I'm going to take that tone very lightly, going to go on the sides of my nose and we're gonna set that. Remember, I learned from my mistakes, thanks to unf*** yourself. You always have to set with a tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna go around my lip. I really like the tone of this. And then the final step, pulling in to my brow with this color and into the shadow. So now, darling, we are going to grab a London Brush Classic 13. It's Sien Richards London. It's a very lavish brush. The Serge Luton's Blusher One. I just love this color. So I am just going to go over just that area with it. I'm gonna pick up on the small fiber brush and I'm going to blend out all that Laura Mercier. Now, we are going to go in for the mascara, Lancome Hypnos. I'm going to get rid of some of that excess. I'm gonna do down first because I don't want, ooh, I got some over there. Remember, unf*** yourself. Learn from your mistakes. I know how to fix that. 
I just want to make sure that there's no like dust so that's why I do the top and then the bottom and what I'm going to do is go in with a spoolie I don't need so much the volume I just need it to be spiked across picking up on those lashes that we made earlier I'm gonna use duo glue and of course let it get tacky just like how tacky it is that people don't read nowadays I'm gonna keep throwing shade at that because that's nuts to me. In real time, you know I don't like to waste time. Just like how I read audiobooks to save time, if you don't have time to read books, you can still read them and, you know, educate yourself and be worldly and just have a brain, you know, and things like this. Just to save time while I wait for the lashes, I do my lip and I'm going to use the waterproof lip liner Luna from Il Maquillage and Carly Bible. It's one of my favorite lip liners. And you don't really have to do much because you did it with the powder and the contour. And what the powder does, you guys, I know like some of you guys are like, in your pictures it's not an unnecessary step the way it photographs is very pretty so and we are gonna go in between my actual lip line and that powder shade that we did i'm gonna go in on the outer corners fill that in and i'm going to pick up on the candle sister sister lip i love this color from kylie cosmetics and hit it in the center and then start pulling it into that brown tone and i actually like making sure i go over the lip liner with this color because it hides how we contour it so much so anytime you up with the mascara clean spoolie that's all you gotta do so picking up on this lash i'm going to look down and i like to attach the center first especially when you have lash extensions it is harder to put on eyelashes because the lash extensions flip your lashes so make sure that center is attached then the edge then you pull that inner corner i like to like make sure i have hella insurance with the inner corner i like to go in one more time just to make sure that girl doesn't decide to bounce again when you have on lash extensions it flips now what i'm going to do with our tweezer is i'm going to pull up those individuals just so it's like more like you get what i'm saying moving on to the next eye so this eye is more open than this one is so I'm going to try to close this side up a little bit. Now using the mascara, since I want a more open look, I'm going to go in, shake, and pull on my bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to run it through once. But I didn't like dip back in because I don't want like hella mascara. And I will dip back in one more time, going back into the Morphe palette. And a lot of people are like scared of touching shadows and putting it on their face, but I'm never scared. I am never scared. I'm going to go back on the same color that I brightened my inner corners with. Use it as a highlight on the Cupid's bow. Decide I'm going to brighten it up with eyeshadow. Yes, you heard that correctly. And I'm going to take the L'Oreal Extra Stronghold Hairspray, spray it on my spoolie, and I'm going to block and load the brows. I actually prefer doing this with hairspray versus brow gels now. And then what I'm going to do also is run that through baby hair. Voila. What do you guys think of this look, we technically just highlighted, contoured, and it's a tinted moisturizer. The powders are there to make sure you stay there. And also to stay at the top, make sure to listen to Unf*** Yourself on Audible. Don't forget to head over to audible.com slash harouche to unf*** yourself in your brain. Trust me, if you guys love The Alchemist, 
I promise you my book list is impeccable and I have a very short attention span. So if something captivated me to this level, you guys are gonna like it and learn a lot from it too. Go ahead and head over to Audible to listen to Unfuck Yourself or text Harush to 500 500. Don't forget they're doing you a favor on this website. It's completely free during quarantine, during this pandemic. Honestly, education, reading, using your brain and exercising it during any time, but especially now is the time to do it. Like if you haven't read a book during this time, please don't talk to me. Have a nice day. Ta-da, motherfucker.